hand to our it's guest. It's crucial that all of us keep our commitment. Of the eighth oration of the Silver Lecture Series, Shri Piyush Goyal, Honorable Union Minister of Railways, Mr. Tamil Selvam, the MLA of our area, Principal Dr. Vijay Dabholkar, guests from the management, Principal Dr. Vijay Dabholkar, Vidyak Society, which is the managing body of the Guru Nanak College of Arts, Science and Commerce, Sardar Tara Singh Ji, member of the Legislative Assembly, Very, very warm welcome to you, sir. We begin with the lighting of the lamp. I invite our dear guests to light the lamp. Thank you so much. I now invite our dear principal, Dr. Vijay Dabhulkar, to welcome the guests. Guruji Ki Fateh. A very good afternoon to one and all, Honorable Minister of Railways and Coal, Shri Piyush Goyal Ji, President GNV Sardar Manji Singh Bhatti, my college chairman, Sardar Amarji Singh Saini, Captain Tamil Selvan, Sardar Tara Singh, on behalf of Guru Nanak College and my personal behalf, it's my pleasure and honor to extend a warm welcome to you all on this eighth lecture of the Silver Series. We are indeed fortunate to have with us today Shri Piyush Goyalji, Honorable Minister of Railways and Coal, as a keynote speaker. Young minds are like sponges. They look for right input from their role model to soak it in. We cannot think of a person suited more to this oration lecture than Piyush Goyalji, a learned politician who has, as a minister of coal, renewable energy sources, contributed towards greening of our country, and he has started making impact on Indian railways. Sir, please accept our warm welcome, and we are thankful to you for having accepted our invitation. I must thank Mr. Manoj Shinde and his entire team for getting Sir in our college. I am pleased to extend a warm welcome to our President, College Chairman, Board Members, Invited Dignitaries, Railway Authorities, Police Authorities, Principal from the other colleges, Professor Swami, MLA from this area and the other area, Administrator Dr. Beena Punjabi, Academic Advisor, <clears throat> my Vice Principal Dean, Teaching Staff, Non-Teaching Staff and dear student. Sir, in 1989 this Guru Nanak College was established. Today, we are offering UG, PG and PhD courses in all the stream. College is known for its excellent result, discipline, co-curricular and extracurricular activities. As a part of our institutional social responsibility, we have adopted GTP Nagar Railway Station and a team of our students, they go and perform this activity. I thank them and railway authorities. Let me share some good news with you, sir. The college has won Eco-Friendly Institution Competition Award, which was organized by Environment NGO EcoRocks. My congratulations to Dr. Mitali Das Gupta and her team for getting this award. Overall Championship Trophy in the Youth Parliament at University level. Congratulations to Dr. Ms. Rajinder and her team. Best College Award at Joshi Bedekar College. Thank you, Ms. Seema and students. We would like to felicitate our staff who have completed 25 years of their dedicated service. I congratulate Ms. Pramoda Shashidharan, Dean Sciences, Head of the Department of Chemistry, Ms. Anuradha Manoj Namjoshi, our librarian, our library attendant, Mr. Sharanjit Dhika. A warm welcome to their family. 
Shortly, we shall release our newsletter for the library as well as e-court news. Congratulations and thank you to Ms. Anuradha Nam Joshi and Dr. Mitali Das Gupta. Today, Honorable Minister will also release our college magazine. And I must thank my team, the editor, Professor Karthik Krishnan, Professor Santosh Pathare, Dr. Mitali Das Gupta, Surinder Kaur for the magazine work and of course the students volunteer. Once again, I extend a warm welcome to each one and everyone. And I would like to thank the organizing committee for today's program, for putting this beautiful program. My student volunteers from Principal Brigade and Student Council, thank you each one and everyone. Waheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Waheguru Ji Ki Fateh. I now invite the president of the Guru Nanak Vidyak Society, Sardar Manjit Singh Bhatti Ji, to welcome our chief guest. Waheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Waheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Very, very good afternoon to all of you. Honorable Minister and our guest, Sri Piyush Govalji, MLA Sadar Tara Singh Ji, MLA Captain Tamil Selvian, Chairman College Manager Committee Sadar Amarji Singh Saini, my colleagues in Guru Nanak Vidik Society, Principal Dr. Vijay Dabolkar, staff of Guru Nanak College, and my dear student. It is an honor to welcome you to our college as an eminent speaker in the Silver Lecture Series. I am grateful to you, sir, for gracing and accepting our invitation, making time to be present here today. We at Guru Nanak Vidik Society are committed to provide a solid foundation to the young generation for pre-primary to the post-graduate levels of education. Our goal is to equip our students with skill to fulfill their dream. I am extremely proud of my faculty and staff who breathe life and excitement into our course and program. The management has provided Im impressive facilities, but the real measure of success is the quality of our education and the impact that we make our students and the community. The presence of Honorable Minister today will surely inspire our staff and students in the scale greater heights. I once again extend a warm welcome to all the guests present here today. Thank you. We felicitate our chief guest, Honorable Union Minister Shri Piyush Goelji. Tara Singh Ji would like to felicitate and welcome the Honorable Minister Shri Piyush Goelji. Mr. Tamil Selvan would like to welcome Sri Piyush Goyalji to our constituency and to the college. Sardar Sandeep Singh Ji Dham will now felicitate our guest. Captain Tamil Selvam ji is felicitating Shri Piyush Goyal, our guest. <laughs> Sadan Narendra Pal Singh ji Anand and Mr. Jasbir Singh Dham, please uh, come to the desk. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'll just introduce yeah. 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 Sadar Narendra Pal Singh Ji Anand and Sadar Jasbir Singh Ji Dham. I think we will now complete uh, the felicitations. It is a privilege to introduce our dear guest. I know that he has very recently been promoted as the Union Minister of Railways. But I think in the, in the long introduction that I would have ideally wanted to give, the two things would stand out. He's still a student 
He is still registered with the Owner President Management Program at Harvard Business School and he has participated in leadership programs. He is an alumnus of the University of Mumbai. He also runs various NGOs. He is associated with the welfare of the physically challenged. And in a recent speech that he delivered at the IIM Calcutta, he has spoken about and he has lamented about the condition of India in the past, which has been a nation that has not been in a hurry. So I think, sir, we look up to you and our students look up to you for guidance as to how to get that restlessness and to get that killer instinct in them so that we make this nation happening and a nation in a hurry. We wish to listen to you, sir. Warm welcome again. Please, sir. Sanmanya Sardar Amarjit Singh Ji, Sardar Manjit Singh Bhatti Ji, Sardar Tara Singh Ji, Captain Selvam, Dr. Vijay Dabulkar, Principal, all the distinguished. I was wondering what I should call all of you, friends, colleagues, or neighbors, because this is my home. I have born and brought up in Siam. My first 35 years of my life, and which is where you really make your character, you learn what life is all about, has been spent right in this neighborhood. And for me, it is like coming back home that I'm here with you today. When Dr. Dabulkar wrote a letter to me, I'm sure he will confirm he didn't have to make any phone call, he didn't have to ask any of my party colleagues, my MLA, uh, Sardar Tara Singh Ji, anybody to give a call. That letter came to me on the mail. I saw the address and I said, okay. Because one way, it is started the beginning of the society of life. I have started the beginning of my life. I remember now that I was in 6th standard. It was 6th or 5th, I don't remember that much. I don't remember that much. I was in 5th or 6th grade. You will have heard of the Lions Club. The Lions Club is called Youth Wing. It's called Leo Club. So, Papa Lions Club of Sain Kolivada, the founder and president, you will remember Tara Singh Ji, some of your friends will remember. And first of all, Lions were Sain, and then the start of Sain Kolivada, Papa did it. So, we have made a Leo Club. Here, the Punjabi colony, and in my eyes, the day, as it is happening today, and here, the day, 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 और ये वहाँ बैठे-बैठे ध्यान आए मैंने सरदार तारा सिंह जी को पूछा वो पंजाबी कॉलोनी अभी तक है क्या क्योंकि वहाँ पे ऐसे बिल्डिंग्स वाले ना स्क्वेयर और बीच में आंगन है उसमें वो ही है ना तो हम लियो क्लब के सब छोटे-छोटे बच्चे पंजाबी कॉलोनी आए थे और वास्तव में मेरे लिए आज वो पुरानी प्राथमिकताओं से कैसे जुड़ती है मेरे जीवन का पहला सामाजिक काम पंजाबी कॉलोनी में स्वच्छता की वजह से हुआ था हम सब बच्चे रविवार के दिन सुबह आए और दुर्भाग्य से भारत में स्वच्छता की बात शायद महात्मा गांधी जी ने की थी और और वैसे इतिहास में देखे तो शायद गुरुदेव जी ने की थी सबसे पहले मेरे ख्याल से अगर गुरु नानक साहब ने अगर कोई बात की जिस पे बल दिया तो वो थी स्वच्छता समानता और शुद्धता और मैं समझता हूं कि इतने बड़े हमारे देश के लिए सिद्धांत छोड़ के गए थे दुर्भाग्य से हमने कई वर्ष लगा लिए उसको वास्तव में अमल करने में जमीन पे और उस समय हम आए थे और मुझे याद है कि कम से कम एक डेढ़ फुट का मलबा निकला था वहां से एक एक उस प्रांगण से मतलब सालों साल शायद वहां पे इकट्ठा हुआ गया आई एम नाउ टॉकिंग समवेयर इन द सेवेंटीज इट्स अर्ली सेवेंटीज प्रॉब्ली सेवेंटी थ्री और सेवेंटी फोर 
तो आप सोचिए 1973 में मेरी मदर जो बाद में यहां फिर कॉर्पोरेटर बनी शायद उन्हीं दिनों कॉर्पोरेटर थी हाँ शायद उन दिनों कॉर्पोरेटर थी यहां पे शी वॉज अ कॉर्पोरेटर फ्रॉम 72 72 टू 78 दैट पीरियड शी वॉज अ कॉर्पोरेटर यहां बाद में एम भी यहीं से बनी तीन बार आप लोगों के आशीर्वाद से और इन सब मेरे कार्यकर्ताओं के परिश्रम से और वास्तव में जब आज ऐसे ही बैठे बैठे जब याद आया तो मुझे ध्यान आया कि सबसे पहला कार्यक्रम जो इस सरकार ने लिया वो भी स्वच्छ भारत का था तो इन अवे आई फील प्रिविलेज टू बी बैक अमंगस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू बिकॉज यू हैव वंस अगेन रीइग्नाइटेड इन मी दैट स्पिरिट विच प्रोबली made my parents bring me to kolivada to help the local people appreciate how important it is to have a clean environment aur wahan se shuru hui hui journey mujhe lagta hai aaj yahan tak pahunchai hai aap sab ka bhi pyar hai aap sab ka aashirwad hai aur isliye jab kolivada aane ki baat hui गुरु तेग बहादुर नगर आने की बात हुई तो मेरे मन में जरा भी एक मिनट के लिए भी कोई हिचक नहीं थी मुझे आना था और मैंने लगभग सभी कार्यक्रम कैंसिल कर दिए हैं जब से रेल मंत्रालय का बाहर मिला काफी नई चीजें सीखनी पड़ रही हैं नई चीजें समझनी पड़ रही हैं लेकिन अपने घर आने का कार्यक्रम तो नहीं कैंसिल कर सकते नाइनटीन में ये सोसाइटी बनी और सरदार तारा सिंह जी के पिताजी उस समय से एसोसिएटेड रहे इस गुरु नानक विद्या सोसाइटी के साथ मैं समझता हूं सत्तर वर्ष भारत की आजादी साथ साथ में सत्तर वर्ष समाज की सेवा इस संस्था द्वारा हम सबके लिए बहुत गौरव की बात है मैं बधाई दूंगा सभी सम्मान्य ट्रस्टीज मैनेजिंग कमेटी और सभी उन लोगों ने जिसने जिन्होंने अपना योगदान दिया इस सोसाइटी के अलग अलग कार्यक्रमों को सफल बनाने में और बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं दूंगा कि आगे चल के ये सोसाइटी और अधिक रूप से और बड़े रूप से और तेज गति से समाज की भी सेवा करे और जो सिद्धांत जो मूल सोच गुरु नानक देव की थी उसको वास्तव में अमल करने में जो आपका योगदान है उसके लिए मैं समझता हूं समाज और देश जितना आप सबका धन्यवाद करे वो कम है और आपका जो एक कार्य है ये जरूर हम सब अगली पीढ़ी के लिए एक प्रेरणादायक दिशा दिखाएगा कि हम सब में भी बड़े होके किस प्रकार से समाज सेवा करनी है किस प्रकार से हाउ वी हैव टू गिव बैक टू सोसाइटी फॉर ऑल दैट वी हैव गॉट फ्रॉम सोसाइटी and our leaders sitting here today principal dabolkar uh, uh, sardar manjeet singh ji sardar uh, amarjeet singh ji tara singh ji captain selvam all of them have dedicated their life for the cause and i'm sure each one of us youngsters here will continue with that same spirit that same zeal and keep the nation keep our society above our self in our uh, party we believe that when we are working for even for the political party that we work in for society for our various causes the nation comes first society has a priority over our self and i think uh, that is the spirit which this esteemed institution is inculcating in all of you spirit with which they are developing an a very holistic personality around the children of this institute fostering a spirit of free thinking of entrepreneurship of innovation and above all love for humanity and i'm sure this spirit will hold all these young boys and girls in good stead when you embark on your careers when you come out in the real world come out of the cocoon of this protected environment that the college always provides and in this real world you will make the nation proud you will make this institution proud you will make this college proud of your work 
I wish each one of these of you students the very best in the years to come in each one of your careers. Guru Nanak Sahib's Zindagi Bhar Samaj Seva Me Lage Rai Aur Ek Vidyarthi Ki Tare Unho Ne Kaam Kiya Unka Manna Tha Jitna Mein Samaj Paaya Unki Vastav Me Badi Soch Itni Udhar Thi Itni Vyapak Thi Ke Mere Jaisse Chhote Vyakti Ko Samajna To Bhoat Hi Kathen Hooga Aur Ek लाइफटाइम में पूरा समझना तो शायद नामुमकिन होगा लेकिन जो मुझे समझ में आया वो जिंदगी भर अपने आप को एक विद्यार्थी के रूप में देखते थे सीखना कैसे नई चीजें ग्रहण करना नई चीजों से कैसे जुड़ना और मैंने मुझे बताया गया अट्ठाईस हजार किलोमीटर उनके पांच अंतरराष्ट्रीय दौरों में उन्होंने सफर पार किया अट्ठाईस किलोमीटर और कब की बात है 1500 to 1524. It's it's unbelievable. We all are saying that it's so much for us. 500 years ago, this kind of vision of the whole world and a main thing about the human being to reach the whole world. I understand that the whole world has made their contribution to their contribution. विचारों के लिए कृतज्ञ रहेगा और जैसा मैंने कहा तीन उनके प्रमुख सोच थे स्वच्छता सेवा और समानता स्वच्छता आज वास्तव में इस देश की सबसे बड़ी प्राथमिकता बन चुकी है और आज भी हम कोई गुरुद्वारे में चले जाएं कभी आपको वहां पे कोई गंदगी नहीं मिलेगी इतना साफ इतना सुंदर इतना स्वच्छ मैं समझता हूं शायद ही कोई और ऐसा विश्व भर में कोई प्लेस ऑफ वर्शिप होगी जो इतनी स्वच्छ रहती होगी और जन भागीदारी से कोई वहां बाहर वाला आके साफ नहीं करता है स्वेच्छा से अपने आप वॉलेंटियर करके जिस प्रकार से स्वच्छता को प्राथमिकता दी गई है मैं समझता हूं हम सबके लिए भी बहुत बड़ी प्रेरणा है प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी तो शायद स्वच्छता पे सबसे अधिक बल देते हैं और ऐसा नहीं कि सिर्फ स्वच्छ होना चाहिए स्वच्छता के साथ मानसिक स्वच्छता भी होनी चाहिए ऐसा नहीं है कि हमने अपना घर साफ कर दिया आंगन साफ कर दिया सड़क साफ कर दी और मन में गलत काम किया चाहे वो भ्रष्टाचार हो चाहे वो किसी भी प्रकार का कानून तोड़ने वाला काम हो तो मैं समझता हूं गुरु नानक देव का जो एक बहुत बड़ा योगदान हम सबके लिए रहा और जो हम सबको आगे भी चल के प्रेरणा देता रहेगा और शायद महात्मा गांधी जी ने भी उनसे प्रेरणा ली जब उन्होंने स्वच्छता को इतना बल दिया और मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि ये अगर हम पूरे देश भर में इसको ईमानदारी से इस मैसेज को देश भर में लेके जाएंगे तो देश का भविष्य ही कुछ और बन जाएगा इसी प्रकार से सेवा शायद गुरु नानक जी के रग रग में था एक मुझे किसी ने कहानी बताई कि जब वो मात्र 12 वर्ष के थे तो उनके पिताजी ने उनको शायद 20 रुपए दिए कि जाओ कुछ अपना व्यापार शुरू करो और नानक देव ने उस बीस रुपए से कुछ खाने पीने के पदार्थ खरीदे और गरीबों में बांट दिया और कहा मेरे लिए तो इससे अच्छा व्यापार कुछ हो ही नहीं सकता है कि किसी भूखे के पेट में मैंने अन्न डाला एक प्रकार से जब हम अंत्योदय की कल्पना से सरकार में काम करते हैं तो हम उन्हीं के उस दिखाए हुए रास्ते को से प्रेरणा लेते हैं कि कैसे समाज में जो गरीब से गरीब व्यक्ति है उसके जीवन में क्या परिवर्तन हम ला सकते हैं उसके जीवन में कैसे एक नया सवेरा हो सके वो हमारी प्राथमिकता रहती है और अगर गुरु नानक देव को 
कोई एक चीज सबसे ज्यादा डिफाइन करती है और इस समुदाय की जो सबसे बड़ी ताकत अगर कुछ मैं कहूं तो वो है समानता कैसे पूरे समाज को एकजुट करना कैसे हर एक व्यक्ति को एक समान देखना कितना भी बड़े से बड़ा आदमी हो अमीर आदमी हो बड़े नाम हो और एक सामान्य व्यक्ति सबके बीच में समान था आज कोई हम गुरुद्वारे में चले जाएं और या गुरु नानक कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड साइंस एंड कॉमर्स में पढ़ने आए कभी कभी मैं समझता हूं आपको भेदभाव की भावना कभी नहीं दिखेगी ये ऊंचा है ये छोटा है ये बड़ा है एक समान सबके प्रति व्यवहार इज्जत ये उनकी बहुत बड़ी विशेषता थी एक उन्होंने इस विषय में कुछ कहा था जो मैं आपको पढ़ के सुनाना चाहूंगा द हाइस्ट रिलीजन इज टू राइज टू यूनिवर्सल ब्रदरहुड टू कंसिडर ऑल क्रीचर्स योर इक्वल्स ये 500 साल पहले की सोच आप सोचिए उस समय के परिपेक्ष में ये कितनी बड़ी बात उस समय उन्होंने हमारे को और विश्व को दी थी और एक प्रकार से हम भी उसी सीख से उसी से सीख के आज सबका साथ सबके विकास को हमारा मूल मंत्र बना के काम कर रहे हैं कैसे पूरे देश में हर व्यक्ति को समान अवसर मिले सामान्य सबका इज्जत हो हर व्यक्ति का जीवन कैसे सुधर सके सबके घर में कैसे बिजली आए पानी आए शौचालय आए अच्छा घर हो हर नागरिक के लिए अच्छी शिक्षा मिले अच्छे स्वास्थ्य सेवा मिले वो जो नए भारत की कल्पना है द विजन ऑफ न्यू इंडिया दैट प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी ऑफ एन आर्टिकुलेट्स इज वॉट इंस्पायर ऑल ऑफ अस टू वर्क हार्डर टू वर्क फास्टर एज मैडम मोस सिंह एंड टू वर्क बेटर मैडम आपने पूछा कि आई एम इन अ हरी टू डू वर्क सर्टनली आई एम इन अ हरी क्या ये परिस्थिति चल सकती है कि वो गांव में छोटा विद्यार्थी जिसने सत्तर वर्ष आजादी के बाद भी बिजली नहीं देखी जिसके घर में टीवी नहीं है इंटरनेट नहीं है आज आप सब लोग इंटरनेट से वाकिफ हैं जब कोई प्रश्न पूछे मैं आपको कुछ प्रश्न पूछू आज तुरंत मिस्टर गूगल को पूछने लग जाएंगे उसका जवाब पता नहीं आगे चल के तो सर एग्जाम में भी लगता है कि इंटरनेट पर पढ़ पुढ़ के लिखना शुरू हो जाएगा पर क्या उस विद्यार्थी का हक नहीं है अधिकार नहीं है कि उसको भी बिजली मिले क्या उसको भी अच्छी शिक्षा मिले क्या वो दृश्य ओडिशा में एक व्यक्ति अपने परिवार वाली महिला को लेके 12 किलोमीटर कंधे पे दौड़ रहा है उनको उनको स्वास्थ्य सेवा दिलवाने के लिए क्या वो देख के हमारे खून नहीं खोलता है आज इस देश में 125 करोड़ लोग अवसर चाहते हैं 125 करोड़ लोग अच्छा जीवन चाहते हैं और वो अधिकार है हर एक का और वो कर्तव्य है हम सबका कि कैसे इस देश में हर व्यक्ति के जीवन में हम वो सुनहरे दिन लाएं कैसे उनके जीवन में परिवर्तन हो हाउ डू वी ट्रांसफॉर्म इंडिया इन टू अ डेवलप नेशन एंड वी डोंट हैव द लग्जरी ऑफ टाइम एवरी डे लॉस्ट इज द डे लॉस्ट इन द लाइफ ऑफ मिलियंस ऑफ चिल्ड्रन इज द डे लॉस्ट इन द लाइफ ऑफ मिलियंस ऑफ फैमिलीज मेनी ऑफ अस हैव बोर्डेड द ट्रेन but we must never forget that there are millions who have been left behind on the platform and unless we make sure that there is inclusive growth unless we make sure that every citizen of this country gets an opportunity to to, to take care of himself to take care of his family and to be a useful asset of society to serve the nation to serve society i don't think our life can be complete and therefore for all of us india's democracy is its greatest strength
This society was founded 70 years ago when India became independent. Can we all pledge that when we celebrate 75 years in 2022, we want to see a developed India with every citizen having a shelter on his head, a toilet in his home, 24 hours electricity for his children to study, water, clean drinking water, good educational facilities in the neighborhood, adequate health care for his parents. And that is that new India that we are all aspiring for, that we are all committed to, that we are all dedicating ourselves to. I appeal to all of you young friends, let's be a part of this revolution. Let's be a part of this transformation. And let's make India once again that superpower, that Jagat Guru, the, a nation which is a proud part of the developed world, a nation which has which integrates itself with development, with technology, with innovation, the best of facilities, modern facilities, a nation where every citizen is respected, a nation where every citizen gets his due share of progress. And I have no doubt in my mind that each and every student who comes out of this Guru Nanak College of Arts, Science and Commerce, this outstanding institute, founded by well-meaning, committed social workers, will serve society, will be a good, honest, dedicated servant of society, servant of this nation, will give back to society in the same spirit by which our elders have given us and become good citizens of a modern India, of a new India. My best wishes to each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for, for such an informative and insightful speech. I'm sure the audience has learned a lot from you today and are deeply inspired. I request Vice Principal Dr. Pushpinder Bhatia to take us through the felicitation of the staff members who have completed 25 years of service to Guru Nanak College. Thank you. We have also assembled here today to felicitate and to recognize long years of service put in by our staff members. Today we are going to felicitate three of our colleagues who have completed 25 years of dedicated service to this institution. Long years of service not only speak of loyalty and commitment, but they also speak of a belief in the vision and the mission of an organization. I invite our colleagues to the dais Dr. Pramoda Shashidharan, the head of the chemistry department, presently Dean Academic Affairs Science. She is an MSc and PhD from IIT Mumbai, joined this college in June 1992 and has handled important assignments with equal elan. Dr. Pramoda Shashidharan, please give a very big hand. She has completed 25 years of service to this institution. Mrs. Anu... Our librarian, Anuradha Manoj Namzoshi, joined the college in August 1992. She is known for her meticulousness and an exemplary finesse and quality in everything that she takes. And the library has grown under her leadership and her tutelage. She has also contributed to the setting up of a visually impaired section in the library. Section for the visually impaired students. So the, the support staff of any college are the backbone of an organization and are often the unsung heroes in an organization. Sri Sharanjit Dika, our senior most non-teaching staff, joined the college in June 1992 and his contribution towards maintenance of discipline and other facilities in the college remain exemplary. Thank you so much, sir. So the college has...
Well, we also take this opportunity to release the college magazine. The college magazine under the editorial leadership of Mr. Karthik Krishnan and his editorial board will release the magazine Synergy today, sir, and we request you to do the honors. Mr. Karthik Krishnan, with his editorial board members on the dais, please. I request our Chief Guest, Honorable Union Minister, Shri Piyush Goyal, to kindly felicitate Mr. Karthi K. Krishnan for his continuous contribution to the college and the college magazine, Synergy. Ms. Anuradha Nam Joshi, our librarian, and her team conduct various activities in the library. These are compiled in the Bibliothek Bulletin. I request our dignitaries to kindly release the second edition of Bibliothek Bulletin. Ms. Anuradha Nam Joshi and your editorial board. Ma'am, please, please come to the... After this, we will request our guests to release the, the magazine on environment activities, Eco Rocks. Well, Dr. Mitali Dasgupta, please come to the dais with your team members to release, to get the magazine Eco News released by our chief guest. These are important publications of the college. Well, the college has won an award under her leadership. And I also request, sir, to felicitate Dr. Mitali Dasgupta for her contribution. Well, sir, here we have uh, Mrs. Rajinder Kaur, who has been guiding and leading students towards understanding the ropes of parliament. The college won a university award under her leadership. So Mrs. Rajinder Kaur, please come to the dais. <laughs> well, our students will now present a collage, Narayan and his group. Sir, since you are the railway minister, we thought it would be very relevant to tell you about the adoption of the railway station that our students have undertaken. So we present to you a memento, our students present a memento of the activities that they have undertaken at the GTB Nagar railway station under the Chakachak GTB Nagar program. I request Dr. Seema Petkar to give the vote of thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. It has been a pleasure to have you with us today. Invitees, staff, and the students of Guru Nanak College, it's my privilege to propose a vote of thanks on the eighth year of Silver Lecture Series. I, on behalf of Guru Nanak College, extend a very hearty vote of thanks to our esteemed guest for, this, for his inspiring address. Then, today, you have spent millions for us, sir. The way you have enlightened us is exemplary. I would also like to thank the members of the management, academic advisor, family members of the staff, and last but not the least, the organizing team 
for their valuable contribution. Thank you. I request everyone to kindly rise for the national anthem. <laughs> 